Welcome to another video by Lame Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. We're going to talk about lookups and how to use the wildcard. Can we make a wildcard lookup? And this is the end result here. We want to be able to put a lookup in here. And these are, uh, for those who are members, I've got a system administration training coming around. And these are the machines in my environment. I want to be able to identify them in my lookup. And so... I want to make this lame IDX 1, 2, and 3, come back with indexer. Here's the lookup. If I come in here and we just do a wild card. Got my wild card and we've got a little lookup. And we want to be able to match this so that I don't have to write down every machine. If it follows this general format, call it a indexer and we're going to show how to do that next all right what we want to do is we're going to make ourselves a brand new lookup we're going to do this all from scratch we know that this is my base stuff here so we want to identify these indexers as a type of system so we'll come in here we'll go make a create a new lookup csv lookups we're going to call this wild youtube dot csv we'll put it in the search app again all this can be done from your own you may only have one machine reporting back but if you have one machine reporting back this will work i'm going to call mine lame id star i'll hit and we're going to give it a host name rename this field rename this column we're going to call it host. Hit OK. So this is lame underscore ID star asterisk. Hit the save lookup. I realize I'm, I forgot a field. That's all right. We'll add it here. We're going to call this, rename this column. We'll give description. And we're going to call it indexer. And let's just erase these columns for, for cleanup. Hit the save lookup. Nah, I don't need to save the backup. Save the lookup. Okay. We're going to comment this code out. We don't need that. Okay, we want to just do input lookup wild YouTube. CSV. There we go. We got our value. So what we want to do now is this will not work. If we, so I got my internal logs. Let's see how this works. If I go look internal, I can see my host coming back. These are all the hosts. If I go look up wild youtube.csv host as host output description. I'm not going to get any errors, but it didn't match. Why didn't it? Well, that's because we need to add a definition in there that says, hey, use wildcards. Otherwise, it's going to literally look for a star. If it doesn't have a star in there, it doesn't count. So what we do is we go to lookup edit. I'm going to go settings, lookups. We're going to go lookup definitions. And I'm going to create a new lookup definition. And we're going to set it in the search app. And I'm going to call it uh, YouTube, wild YouTube definition. It doesn't have to. You can literally call it the exact same thing as your, other, as your uh, CSV. But I just want to make it so it stands out. I've got a definition file. And so wild YouTube, and if I go and grab that, we'll come down here, wild YouTube.csv, go to my advanced options, and I need a match type. I can match on a wild card or cider. I'm going to do wild card, paste that, make sure it's all in capitalization, and then I put the field that I want to match. So it's wild card host, because that's what the field is. It's my host field in my lookup. I hit save. Now let's make sure we have that app. So we're going to call it wild YouTube. 
by default the permissions are private so it won't be very readily available i'm going to make it global read write hit save now i've made wild youtube definition remember i did wild youtube.csv this is wild youtube dot uh, definition no csv so we get rid of that i go definition no csv so i'm calling the definition not the actual vi uh the actual csv which the definition calls the csv so in a roundabout way i am but and they now match now just so you're aware in case i decide to Go back and say, well, I put a definition. Can I use the CSV? No match. Definition. And it works. We can also do something like this. Make results. In case you have no fields to work with. Eval. Post equals lame. I. Help if I spell it right. And it matches. So it takes that IDX, calls it indexer. So you can do a make results to test your lookups. You can use straight out Splunk query, whatever you want. This allows you to use a wildcard to add fields to it. You join on those wildcards. You can change them anytime. I just come in here. The big key is making a lookup definition. You point it to the lookup file, advanced options, wildcard, host, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a member. I'd, lo I'd love for you to join the channel. Uh, push this around to your friends. Help this channel grow. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.